don't pretend to be a race car driver, but going to a racetrack really does change the whole paradigm about how you evaluate your driving. And it all comes down to being smooth, being quick, and saving an extra second here or another two seconds there. So I've come down to Hampton Downs to try my car on the track and see how I can be a better driver. The best way of learning, of course, is to have a coach sitting alongside you, a race coach. I don't have one of those with me right here, right now, but I have heard of something called My Race Lab, which is an online application that I think might be able to help me. So we're going to meet the guy from My Race Lab and see if he can make me a better driver on the track. I can understand the appeal of driving on a track date, but I suspect that there's lots of ways that a driver can get better at becoming a, a, a competent race driver. Tell me about My Race Lab. My Race Lab is all about giving all drivers access to the technology that, uh, that the best have. So uh, we take that technology and we make it available for, for any, any driver. What are race drivers, what are the problems that they suffer? Well, the problem that we're, we're trying to solve here is that race drivers and even your, your, weekend, your weekend warrior has all these things they could gather data from. They've got GPS's, they've got ECU's, they've got sensors all, all over the place, but what do you do with that? So we've identified that, uh, yes, there's, there's plenty of apps in the market that can tell you your times, your split times and things so on. And at the other end of things, there's, there's expensive hardware that comes with, uh, with complicated software that shows you graphs and data. But there's nothing really that kind of merges those two worlds together and presents that back to you as the driver and telling you what can you do to improve. We take all that data and we, we do the hard stuff in the background. Uh, so we do those calculations, those algorithms uh, to present back to you the next step on your performance journey. What is it you should do? Should you take that corner faster? Should you brake earlier? Uh, should you take a different line? Uh, so we do that based on uh, your performance, performance of your car and performance of other drivers, uh, just to try and present that to you in what do you do next? Yeah, there's a hundred things you could probably do to improve, maybe 200 in your case, Blue. But, <laughs> thank you, um, thank you. But what are the next three things you should do to improve? Do I need a special box inside the car and stuff, or how does it, what does it need in terms of hardware? See, the really cool thing about My Race Lab is that we're not dependent on any particular hardware brand or manufacturer or, or model or gadget. Uh, so we are a, a software-based app that can run on a smartphone, uh, Apple or Android. Uh, and basically you can use that phone as a, as a data gathering device. Uh, the other cool thing we can do is we can pull in data from things like GoPros that have GPS in them and motion sensors. We can pull in data from ECUs. We can pull that data in, send it up to the cloud, and then uh, figure out how to make either you or your car go, go faster. So all I need to do is what? Is it, it's a download, it's an application to download exactly, yep. my phone. So you can download it, um, well you can go to myracelab.com, uh, that'll uh, tell you all about it there. You can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Sign up, takes about 30 seconds. I'm really keen to get this out on the track and, um, and see what I can learn from My Race Lab. Well, let's get this thing running and get some Air conditioning going, like every good racing car needs. I don't actually know this track very well, even though I've driven it a couple of times, <coughs> but I had Greg Murphy barking in my ear, so my brain has blotted all that out as being far too painful. about as much as I'd wanted to go with on a car that I have to drive 100 odd kilometres in to get home tonight. The car goes well, I'm not sure I go well, but I guess that's what my race lab is going to tell me. We'll go back to the pits, we'll hook up with Andrew and his uh, my race lab application. Uh, I've just been using this GoPro GPS coordinates so he can 
interpret that, well, I can interpret that ideally uh, through my race lab and see just how rubbish I was. So you had some pretty good race lines there. Mm. You see through the turn one, um, you came in nice and close towards the end of that apex there. Right. Let's say we want to compare um, lap one and two. Yep. So we're looking at a 48.75 for the fastest one compared to a 49.5 for your slowest. So right. there's three quarters of a second in that. Um, right. Top speed of 136 versus 134. So we can see that you're pretty consistent on uh, on the turn one there. Oh, okay, yep. yep. And turn two, again, nice and consistent. Maybe getting on the throttle a little bit earlier in the fastest lap. Well, here's a good example here in the turn four. You came in a lot tighter on the turn four and and uh, finished that a good, um, what do we got here? A good half a second faster through that corner okay. because you took the, the tighter line. Right. Yeah, I can see how it's quite addictive because as you say, you've gamified it to the point of saying, oh, okay, I can see where I'm wide, I'm seeing where I'm tight. What difference does that make in terms of timing? Uh, for yeah. people who are really interested in this and really, you know, focused on achieving their best and improving all the time, I can see it's just mm. a, a huge bonus. I've got a feeling that um, there might be somebody else around that might be interested in this too. And I've just seen down in the concourse here, mm. uh, I think it's Mike Eady yes. for, uh, from Track Time Driving right. Academy. So, I mean, Mike's a, a driving instructor. Yep. I wonder how he's going to respond to something like this. Do you think he's going to be threatened at all by it? I think he's going to love it. Is there a mic in the house? Hello. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, come, come on here. Come, come, here. come and join the party. I've just had a little uh, play on the track, yep. and uh, Andrew's very clever. My race lab has yep. come up with this sort of information. So you want to go faster or slower? I want to go faster. Okay. Obviously, who doesn't? Okay. Yeah. So let's use what we've captured here. So straight away, turn one, you need to turn in later. Right. And you get, you get more accurate on the on the apex. Right. Okay. And you need to exit wider. So you need to square, oh, okay. square off square a late apex. Camera. Open that up a open bit. Open it up. Yep, gotcha. So they'll do exit speed. Right. Yep, okay. So I reckon there's a tenth here. Is this one of my good laps I'm looking at here? This is your best lap. Oh, okay. Geez. Yep. So that's the little uh, yep. straight between. We'll yep. go to the, the turn two there. Again, use more road on the exit. On the outside, So yep. you're not letting the car flow right. on the exit. Right. So there's another tenth. I'm going to add these up. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice. Now turn this is... Turn three. Well, this is the big one. Okay, so this one here... Coming way too early, but so as far um, as I can see. Yeah. Well, uh, what we could try is going to be very hard, but we'll try double apex. Yeah. Apex here, yeah. mid track, late apex late, and let the car flow. But through there, pull a slightly taller gear. Right. So third, and then short shift to fourth, and just roll on. When you see the exit, just roll on the power. And now monkey corner, the last corner four. Where are you going? We go to the cafe there, were you? Where were you going? Oh, you're sounding like Murphy now. <laughs> I've gone off you. Okay, so approach it wider. Yep. Uh, ignore the first apex, touch the second one, run the run the ripple strip. It's just little adjustments here and there. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. So, um, okay. Well, I'll try and take all that on board. Yeah. And um, yeah. Take two. Right. Let's go and see what damage is. So the last lap was about forty-eight seven five. And uh, Mike gave you some training tips, told you where to turn in and where to brake and so on. You've cut it down to 47.25. That's a good one and a half seconds. I see that's much better straight away. Look how wide you are there. Right, so, yeah. yeah so there's the, more exit speed. Using the whole track, that's good. Yep. Coming into the second turn. Beautiful. Again. Perfect. Using the Perfect. whole thing. Perfect. Hey, oh. hey. Say that one. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> Wasn't not bad for you, I was thinking. Uh -huh. yeah. say. And I think the good thing here is you can actually see exactly what you did. Yes. And I can explain to you your apex point, your exit point, and yeah. you go, yep. And the turning point, look at that. Pretty yeah. good. You've done well. Yeah, I mean, I can see that the addiction that this thing yes. can cause mm. because yeah. you're always chasing that extra, yeah. you know, you're trying to get all the corners right, which of mm. course is natural, yep. you know, race craft. Mm. But to see it visually like that and to see the output of it against your time, sticky to break it down by corner or by sectors, mm. it just makes it so much more tangible for some numpty like me. Yeah. So what you, know. you could do is you could go home and say, look, I don't believe Mike, I'm going to look at all the data and you'll see your line, your entry speed, your exit speed, yep. and it doesn't lie. You go, That's actually, right. that line does work for yeah, me. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So then you log it away and come back next time and you just drive that line, you know that's what's going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll borrow one of your cars next time. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half seconds off after uh, just a few top tips from, from Mike there and, and the My Race Lab app. That's pretty good. Good. Well yeah. done. Well oh, done. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for your instruction and your tolerance and um, expertise in decoding all that data. And thanks for turning into something that actually someone like me can understand and yeah. get, get sense of.
Well, that was all very interesting. Really appreciate the effort that's gone into designing my race lab because even for a novice track driver like me, it seems to make the metrics that you get from your GPS timing device, be it a GoPro or an iPhone or a you know, more specialised uh, GPS device, it just makes that information more palatable, more easily understood. It sort of gamifies the whole thing. You can see your line on a track layout, you can see where you're slow, you can see where you're fast, and you can see the difference that you can make to shave time off. I would suggest having a look at uh, myracelab.com download the, the app, play with it, see if it, um, what it can do. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's great.